Hello everyone, Zunzuma here. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest Monsters the Dark Prince. Last time, well, we defeated Percival and off screen I did some scout scouting the monsters. Also got the Prismatic Crystal. And I'm here to show you both 100 mechs, because they're good. But also, yeah, I've upgraded MP Booster to MP Booster 2. <laughs> I don't think we're getting much. Get the sound more. I also end up effectively creating Percival. So we've got a new member on the team, which I did have to give away, give away Grim Rider, Come which again. I'm a little sad about, but I mean, we got Sir Rose Garden, Hello. Guardian, it should be, but keep it spiggering. Now, let us check talent points for the 100 mech. And yeah, I'm also going to try and max out this. Just to show Rose Guardian this, Rose Guardian got Bobby Dazzler, which has the amazing Giga Gash. And more heal, which is really good as well. We're going to try and max out Death to Fire. And then go to Bob Dazzler. We're going to one last area though, before we go back to Helix. Helix. Let's go hit the big hair. Of what I think is the last lower circle. Circle of corruption. Oof. Don't believe I can do anything here. This place fills me full of dread. Yet life goes on regardless. Ever the strong tussle, the weak rot underfoot. Wouldn't you agree? Second in line to the Nadirian throne. <laughs> Don't look so shocked. Everyone here knows exactly who you are. The whys and wherefores of how you came to be here are still but hearsay, mind you. But then... We all thought you were dead. Sorry, but who are you? I'm the warder here. This is a prison. The retention center, to be precise. Where the memories of an ancient and incomprehensibly powerful creature are confined. Three memories are imprisoned here. From them, you may learn vital information. However, the memories are guarded. Defeat the watchdogs and all will be revealed. But you're the warder. Why do this? I've had enough of this job. Who needs a warder if there's nothing left to guard? So, will you defeat my three watchdogs? There's no catch, I promise. Sure. Maybe not right now, but... <laughs> I knew you'd agree. I'll find you again once all the memories have been freed.
Where cloudy skies not by design a mundane world do make. Flowers rejoice at petals lost to beating rain. Guys like that really grind my gears. Well, I imagine those watchdogs he mentioned are up ahead. Shall we take a look? Yep. I don't think we can do anything though. So... Let's make a save. No wonder what monster could have been here. Oh, such a mess. Those? Oh, Phantom Pencer. Those are rank F. This is rank E. Oh. Sorry, Sucky Bat. Because the Sucky Bat was going to be something useful. Because I have a theory of what skill tree it has. Because. As I mean, may have a skill tree, but. I want. Come on. It's angered. Zam. Yes. Yes, you're joining us. So there's no big hit here. Hitter here. That Bantam Pencer and a Sucky Bat will be very good. Oh. Oh. I can see one monster I really want to get later. some new meat soon. Poisoned. Irritated and actually. Oh. It's actually pretty good to have sat. There we go. No! You son of a... Well, at least it's still irritated.
Though it's not... There we go. It's angered. Thanks. Okay, so Demon Diminer works on those guys. And they didn't get back up. There's a chest. And I'll just try and scout another sucky bat. Sucky bat. There you go. You're one of us now. Now, does it have the skill tree? But I think it does. Yes, it has charmer, which I believe Fandango. Okay, no, that's not what I thought it was. Oh, it does have that? Which that's really good. Along with this, this is actually really, a really solid one, actually. But, you're gonna be fusion fodder. Alarming amulet. All of them got angered so quickly. I'm mainly ranking that up just to show what level 3 is. Okay, so we have to do it in order. Don't want to waste these yet, so let's see how we handle Watchdog number one. I don't think we can take on all three. We can try. memory of an insane criminal monster mind to you? Look out, you two! Here it comes! Alright, let's roll. A food dog. A large one. Tch. Yeah, I think we can take this quite easily. It's just going to be... Nope, it's not going to be... It's not going to be MP t intensive. So let's see... What monster? So, how are we supposed to release this thi Wonder... Awaken now, kings of this new world. May you herald the dawn of great change. Well, Orifiella, 
It would seem even a Zenithian may be motivated to acts of such recklessness. She has stolen one of the secrets of creation. Should she use it, grave times lie ahead for all of us. Deliver now this message to all Zenithians. Find Azabel before she is consumed by her own ambition. I think I already know what memories these are. The secrets of creation? This is way, way bigger than I could have imagined. Let's find the next memory, quick! My curiosity has been peaked beyond its peak! I think we can take on the next one, fine. And if we can do all three, that would be amazing. I don't think we're allowed to. And if we are allowed to, why? <laughs> What's next on the memory menu? Brace yourselves, it's coming right at us! I can see that, and you're not doing anything, Toilin. Abracadabra, door. Yeah, I think we're going to be nuking this thing. Definitely with that. We're just going to heal, and then just return. Like, literally. Subjugation reigns deserves no tomorrow. From sin, light will shine once more. Continue. Life will cease to exist, and all will be lost. Go forth, Zenithians! We must stop her at whatever cost! It would seem that Azabel is a Zenithian who put the entire world in dire peril. This is totally nuts. I'm not sure I like where this is going. Neither do I, but... But we must find out. We have to release that final memory. If we can. I think we can. I think we may be too powerful. But before we can, 
We're going back to the tower. Heal. And then go back out and then try and beat the last memory guardian. I, I'm sure from that color, because that's the color he is now usually given, we're seeing memories of a Stark. Which is so fascinating. You, you probably won't know why unless you've played a Dragon Quest game with Stark. Because yeah, the this this is big, especially for Dragon Quest four, five, and six. I think it's six or seven. I don't remember. I don't like playing Dragon Quest five or six. The next memory is the third and final one. Stay focused. Yep. King Food Dog. Yeah, we're still going to be here. A joke. Let's see the last memory. make for her side as any child would may this event be recorded in Sendithian scripture that it may live in our memories never to be repeated I don't get it did all that stuff really happen? Are you all right? May living nightmares not deter thee on thy path to hope. Press on with purpose, whatsoever that may be. Well, you released all the memories. Did you learn anything interesting? As for me, I'm now free of the Zenith Dragon's control. Feels rather pleasant. Now, I have a little task of my own that I really should be attending to. Watch out! Dear me, you really must learn to finish off your foes. 
I think this means you owe me one. I expect you to be the hero in my hour of need. I suppose this is farewell. For now, at least. Drink not deep of empty power, lest thou succumbs to it. And in that blinkered state, see not the knife's approach. Fascinating. Anyways, uh, with that, let's head back to the lab laboratorium. That is a strange place. Though I'm also sure I'm not meant to be all those so quickly. But I'm quite sure. I know. such as yourself. Ah. Regardless, I do owe you my thanks. The secret of evolution need be a distant dream no longer. When the time is right, I shall contact you via helipad, and together we will witness history in the making. Well... I guess there's nothing for it but to head back to Rose Hill and wait. Fair enough. Zoom! We'll just teleport back. where the mall is in. That's kind of sweet. There's nothing quite like a father's love for his son. Ouch. Toyman, you haven't told us about your family. Well, I had a younger brother, but he was pretty frail from the get-go. We were orphans, you see. Never had much food. He got sick and died when we were kids. Say, do you remember when I said we weren't all that different? Well, I know how hard it is to lose a loved one, too. 
Without my brother around, my life felt meaningless. Like if I died in a ditch, who cared? But that's all changed now. Now that I'm not alone anymore. A kid dragon? What's this guy doing here? What is he doing here? Oh, the Sparky! Holy moly, Rose! You can understand dragons? That's incredible! Go with you? But what could the Zenith Dragon have to tell us that's so important? Wait, wait, wait! Did you just say the Zenith Dragon? But isn't he, like, a god? Be drilled. I was going to go do some torments, but so this teleportal will take us all the way to Zenithia. And Sorrow doesn't like coming here in four. So there must be a reason. Focus on the mission, Roses. Yes. Hello again. Who is he, though? <laughs> I think I know who, but still. Yep, it's a Sark. His name is Estark, Lord of the Underworld. Before long, he will reawaken, and the world will once again be set on the path to destruction. Doom may yet be averted with the help of the Chosen. You will join forces with these heroic few to defeat Estark. After which, you must relinquish your monster blood and live as a human. No. <laughs> this was your mother's dying wish. Will you honor it? Sorry, but no. I haven't done what I need to do. I'm sorry. I can't. No? Then perhaps you mean to subjugate the Lord of the Underworld and have him do your bidding? No. So still you seek to destroy your father. I see little has changed since first we met. Should you succeed in bringing the Lord of the Underworld under your control, I am afraid I would not take it lightly. And I am not there. Complicate matters. You are not the only one who desires his immense power. <laughs> you don't desire it. I speak of Zangiel the Omniarch. 
He rules over all monster kind, with a power comparable only to that of Randolfo the Tyrant. Fascinating. Henceforth, the feud between humans and monster kind will only intensify until one side is annihilated. But as long as the Chosen live, the monsters have no hope of victory. And yet, you need to ally with the side that will ultimately lose, do you not? If that is your answer, so be it. But you must live with the consequences of your decision. Your rival, Zangiel, resides in Diabolic Hall on a remote island in the south of Terrestria. I will enable the teleportal in Rose Hill to take you there directly. Now leave. I forbid you to ever set foot in Zenithia again. Thanks for our misunderstanding. It's your fault. I just don't want, want to become human yet. Why should I live as a human? Mm -hmm. Goodbye. What's the big idea, huh? All that stuff with the Zenith Dragon back there? You weren't serious, were you? You're not really planning to wage war against humanity, right? I mean, that includes me, you know? We're not for... No, I'm never planning to. Why did I even ask? That's a lie, and we all know it. No. And you won't stop at the Lord of the Underworld, will you? You want Sangiel in your ranks as well, right? Not really. How can you be sure you'll succeed? You don't know the slightest thing about him. He's the only thing stopping Randolfo from gaining control over the monsters in Terrestria. They love him. Make an enemy of Zangiel, and you make an enemy of every monster out there. You know, for all our differences, I really thought we understood each other. Come on. There's still time for you to change your mind. Don't start a war against the humans. I don't plan to. Only if I've got no choice. You don't even have the guts to answer. At least now I know where we stand. On opposite sides of the battlefield. <sighs> we are no longer friends. I can't even be sure we ever were. Toilet, come back! No, I didn't. What? Can it be true? Estark has risen, and the hero who will slay him has come of age. We'll track them down, sire. I'm absolutely sure of it. Can't become a human. Not yet. And we're not allowed to come back here, so we're never gonna go. So, let's go to Diabolic Hall. Hmm. Even though I didn't like Toilin, gotta man. Feels a bit 
empty. This here is Diabolic Hall, the pride and joy of Sangiel. We don't take kindly to visitors. <sighs> You'll make a tasty snack, so long as you're not too grisly. And if you won't back down, we'll just have to lock horns. This is not going to be that hard. One down. Two down. Three down. Bingo. Ultra Death to Fire. And we're close to getting Restora. Hello again, Chain. Quite sure this is your release. <laughs> You're dumb for. They say General Chain's fighting prowess surpasses even that of Lord Zang. Or so they say. You know, set a chance. Not a chance. Have you swung around here for a reason, boy? Thank you to bend the knee to you. <laughs> A raggedy little thing like you. Don't yank my chain. I'm afraid you're a weak link and must pay the price. Any last words? No, because they're not my last words. Good. We could get straight into the swing of things. Right into a second fight. <laughs> Measly crit. Oh. Gotta give him at least some credit then. I um kill Empty the frenzy. Demon Demeanor. I'm 
still got a while before we max out. Impressive work, lad. Now, you want to go up the chain of command and meet Lord Zangiel, do you not? Well, I warn you, he can lay waste to whole armies with a single swing of his sword. None have ever stood up to him and lived to tell the tale. So, still want to see him? Then your foolhardiness will be your downfall. Follow me. Lord Zangiel, I bring before you a visitor. who seeks dominion over Estark, Lord of the Underworld. Well, it seems we're both after the same thing, then. In fact, he is very nearly mine. Sangiel the Omniarch, ruler of monster kind in this realm. I have been awaiting you, Your Majesty. This castle and my efforts to find Estark were all for you. My king. <laughs> You're barely recognizable from the runt I picked up all those years back. Sorry about earlier. We had to make sure you were the real deal. No hard feelings, eh? <laughs> Did you miss us? It's me, Gorin. We were wondering when you'd show up. Do you recognize me? I found you after you collapsed in front of Randolfo's castle. Remember how we tried to persuade you to stay, but you refused to listen. Ever since that day, we have been preparing for you to become our new king and defeat Randolfo. My sole purpose in life was to destroy the tyrant. But I have grown too old and too weak. I now pass that torch to you, for you are the only one capable of this task. So. Will you become our king and defeat Randolfo in my stead? <sighs> this is a too loaded question. I hate it. But the answer tends to be yes. Good. Then it is time. I hereby pronounce you king. Go forth and greet your new subjects. So, this is... My most deeply held desire has now been fulfilled. <laughs>
Listen. You need to understand exactly what Lord Zangiel's motivations were. Before the birth of Dolph the Destroyer, he was earmarked as Randolfo's successor. Dolph may be a fearsome warrior, but he's a heartless creature, far too cruel to truly lead. Were he to come to dominate Nadiria, I fear a monster kind would eat itself alive. Lord Zangiel's aim was to eliminate Dolph in order to save all monsters from this fate. But the battle couldn't be won overnight, and age wasn't on his side. Truth be told, he was on the verge of giving up. Until you appeared on the scene. Randolfo's second-born, back from the dead. Sangiel had you pegged as the perfect ruler, and your exploits so far have proven him right. Thanks so much for making Sangiel's memorial. Before he passed, he asked me to give you this. Another travel aid. Now you can cross to another realm of Nadiria. Oh, before you go, I'm afraid Estark's precise location remains a mystery. All we know is that he's in the vicinity of the human world, but fear not. We'll keep searching. In the meantime, why don't you swing by Nadiria's middle echelons and swell your monster ranks? We trust in you. It's your job to lead us now. And so, he became Sorrow, the Manslayer. Cry, let your emotions run wild. It is time for us to prepare. At least we arrived at New Circle, finally in the middle echelon. 
We're getting closer and closer to having a final team. And yet, don't feel happier. I shouldn't pry. But do you really want to leave things that way with Toilet? And what you said about a war against humanity. I just can't fathom. Come to join me, I see. It is I, Percival. Allow me to bid thee a hearty welcome. <laughs> now, thou mayest recall it is my wish to dethrone the ruler of this circle. Barbatos. Um, yes. But I thought Barbatos was your master. Indeed he is. And not only is he my master, but the man to whom I owe my very life. He was once a great monarch who kept from danger the beloved subjects of his realm. But as the war drew on, he began to change. He lost his faith in men, putting to death any and all he perceived to plot against him. I begged him abandon his newfound mistrust, but my pleas fell upon deaf ears. Then, that fateful day. The pup of Powi Yawis, slain by our troops, came upon us, seeking revenge. And when I saw him charging at me alone, I realized this boy was me. I was seeing myself from the past, my home up in flames, hurling myself into combat alone. And I knew I had taken the wrong path. Oh, Percival. I digress. Now. Lord Barbatos is fearsome, indeed, but can be weakened by the sunlight of a certain day. Steel Gleam Solstice, as it is known, the day upon which the sun shines brightest in Nadiria. However, Barbatos has a rite performed to mantle the sky with darkness, ensuring it is near to arrive. The monster tasked with performing the rite is Darius the Shade Thrower. I humbly ask thee, lend thy aid to defeat him. Of course. Well said. I was right to put my faith in thee. Good sir, set thy gaze over yonder. The rite is performed atop that towering fortress. Let us regroup there. Fascinating. So we're not even going to fight. Never mind. I know you'll do what's right in the end. Let's get going. Alright. And we're in the new area. I will scout monsters in my own time, so apologies. Well, I don't see a way that way. Oh, I didn't realize the time. Uh, you know what? Next time, we will end up 
overthrowing the shade thrower. See you guys then. Zinozuma.